It feels like there are a thousand cactuses inside. You're gonna be okay. Just go, Brianna. It's not like you care. You made her faint by stressing her out. You were the one shouting at me. Please, both of you, shut up. All of Amber's tests turned out clear. Her parents even sent her reports to the best doctors around the world, but no one could figure out her problem. Meanwhile, her headaches and fainting spells continued. But one day, Brianna's mom brought up something unexpected while visiting Amber. Someone at work had a back problem, and she swears this healer fixed her after the doctors gave up. I know it sounds a bit ridiculous, but maybe you could try it? At this point, we'll try anything. Who's this healer? Well, these girls know her grandson. It's Charlie's <sighs> grandma. Amber's parents went over to Charlie's house, and they were told she can't see them. What did you expect? She hates us, of course. Why is she making this personal? Why won't she help someone if she can? Look, maybe if we go in there and convince her how sorry we are, she might listen. Fine. The three girls went over to Charlie's place one evening, and to their dismay, Charlie opened the door. What are you doing here? Don't flatter yourself. We're not here for you. We want to talk to your grandma. She doesn't have time for people like you. I made that clear before. Charlie, please. I need your grandma to take a look at me. Something's really wrong with my head. You got that right. We're not messing around. Really. Amber is suffering, and the doctors can't figure out what's wrong. Not my problem. You people are rich enough to find someone else. Just leave me and my grandma alone. Wait, I'll see her. No, you, you don't have to do that, Grandma. Step aside, Charlie. Charlie stormed off angrily, while Grandma led the girls to her healing room. After Amber described all her symptoms, Grandma made her lie down and prepared her healing herbs, then started a strange ritual on her as the others watched. Once she was done, Grandma made Amber drink some tea. How do you feel, dear? I feel good. My head feels lighter, like there was a whale sitting on it before and now it's jumped off. I haven't felt like this in weeks. Thank you, thank you. Grandma told her to come for two more sessions and the girls got ready to leave. I, I need to apologize to you for what we did. Maybe you think I'm lying, but I really am sorry. I wish I could take it back. I don't think you're lying, Brianna. I'll see you girls soon. After they left, Grandma found Charlie sulking in his room. You turned away Amber before, too. I wasn't expecting this from you, Charlie. Why does everyone keep expecting me to be an angel? You know what they did. They're awful. But it's my duty to heal people, whether they're awful or not. And what they did was wrong. But you have to let go of the anger and move on. I'm trying, Grandma. I really am. I just feel so stupid. How could I let someone treat me so badly and humiliate me? It's because you see the good in people. Yeah, it's called being an idiot. Don't lose that heart of gold, kid. You'll find the right person one day who will really love you for it. Charlie decided not to let the spoiled brats get to him anymore. He worked really hard for the midterms, and when the results came, he was at the top of his class. What are you grinning about, Charlie? Found a golden ticket in a chocolate bar? <laughs> wow, I'm surprised you actually read a book. And I'm just happy about my grades, which have improved since we stopped hanging out together. Maybe your dumbass was rubbing off on me before. You can't talk to me like that. Just because your grandma helped Amber doesn't mean you're anything special. You're still a nobody. I'd rather not talk to you at all, Madison. And thanks for making it so easy to move on from you. I can't even remember what I liked in the first place. You go, Charlie. As Charlie walked away, Brianna impulsively called out. Hey, Charlie, wait. What is it? Um, I just wanted to say thank you to your grandma for helping Amber. I'm sure you already thanked her. Yeah, but I just, I was hoping. Charlie, is there no way we could be friends again? We used to get along so well. But that wasn't real, right? And now I'd never be able to trust a word you say. So yeah, not gonna happen. But really, that was an Oscar-worthy performance. I'm sure you'll have an amazing career as an actress. After Amber's last session, Brianna wanted to thank Charlie's grandma, so she dropped by his place with some gifts when she knew he'd be working. She was surprised to find the front door already open, and then she gasped when she saw grandma on the kitchen floor. Oh my god, are you okay? Brianna, what are you doing here? What happened? Shh. Not so loud. You have to leave. What? Someone broke into the house, and he's upstairs right now. Please, I don't want to put you in danger. I, I'm not leaving you. Brianna heard the thief coming down the stairs and quickly locked the kitchen door and called 911. He kept kicking the door, 
but minutes later, when he heard the police siren, he ran out and escaped. From your description, he seems like a crazy homeless guy who's been bothering other people too. We'll get him. Did he hurt you, man?